Oh, hey, you're here for the the chess video. Yeah, 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 no, you're in the right place. Let's do it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's play some chess. 15 minute game with a 10 second increment. We'll see how we get on. We're playing Johnny XCV. And we're playing as the white pieces. I have been scratching and scraping trying to keep my way in the 1500 rating range. We're doing okay at the moment. We're 1543, but uh, ideally would like to cement things, start making a push for the 1600s. Um, and to do so, we got to win some games. So let's try this one out. Um, already out of my depth, opening wise, this is the perk, I believe, some version of it. But uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on what to do. In cases such as this, you just want to do your, your John Bartholomew basics. You want to get your pieces out. You want to control the center and get castled where you can. Um, I see that this is hanging. I'm looking to play knight c3 whenever I can. So let's do that now. Again, if we look at the analysis board, they might look back and say, what are you thinking, pal? Um, okay. In cases such as this, they're preparing to fianchetto here. I always like to try and jimmy out the fianchetto bishop. Um, it's, a, it's a tried and tested maneuver, but we don't have to play our cards too early in that regard. And I don't want to necessarily... One downside of that is you have to move your bishop twice. Um, the way I like to jimmy out the bishop is... I like to sink this bishop in here, supported by the queen here, but that does take two moves of the bishop. So I think let's just crack on developing. With this already played, what I see is potential for this bishop to wreak a bit of havoc here. Not that that's particularly you know uh, salient or anything like that but I see a bit of fireworks going off here or here and either way that's not a bad home for our bishop to be on that diagonal so that's all right okay they have fianchettoed as we as we anticipated um, now a couple of ways to do this I think I think bishop here is like the safest way. If you go bishop here, they could do this and they could end up casting on the other end or any number of things. This I don't see too much of an issue with. We're going to bring the queen here, land this bishop in here and just say, listen, that's a great defensive piece. This bishop could have been a great attacking piece, but we're, we're willing to make that sacrifice. I want to keep paying attention to what they're doing. Knight comes out there just generally looking to strengthen this square really um i think we'll take once here if we even will yeah if we're going to carry on with this maneuver which we don't have to but i i just like it uh i think taking once is probably the way to go actually no because we do get a bit of tempo is that correct eh, that's not very correct we'll take um i mean there's weaknesses this queen is i sort of want this trade to go down as soon as possible and they don't have a good alternative yet so it will um, and that is pretty good for us. I mean, yeah, I think, I think we're okay here. Right. So, knight out here might be a thing which we'll deal with. The queen in here would be devastating, actually. Queen in there looks good all, anyway, you slice it up, actually. There might be some way to trap us, but. You're threatening mace, you're threatening the rook, rook drops back here, you take the knight, so. Or this pawn, no, you don't want to take that pawn. Because of this. 
yeah, heavily out of my depth opening wise, but fun wise, also out of my depth. Uh, next move. Okay, we're just gonna complete development. There is. I'm a teeny bit worried about this queen just getting her home safe and sound before curfew. Um, this bishop's undefended. I like the initiative we have. I like the chaos we're reigning in Black's kind of deep defenses, but I I don't want to get caught with our trousers down again. Pressure builds on this square. So we got this and this with no major, no major attack forthcoming. We do have. We do have this, which I don't hate. But I don't love it either. And I deserve love. Um, I mean, does could we scupper their plans? Okay. Candidate moves. Queen in there. Hmm, that's an easy enough defense. Protected by the knight. Attacks the queen. Queen can't take here. Queen just comes back here and they've sorted themselves out a little bit. Uh, knight in here is, again, not as vicious as it looks. Queen can do a couple of different things. Actually, what can the queen do? To stay in defense of this pawn, not a whole lot. Mm, knight would just take. I think it might be prudent. But who's here for prudence? Let's go for the attack. I think knight takes pawn out here. We still lose this pawn, but again, we've just we've just wreaked a wreaked a lot of havoc. It reeks of havoc in here. Might have been a bit greedy. Again, we are not castled. We didn't do our John Bartholomew homework. But homework is for squares sometimes. That's not a hot take. Bert Simpson said that one time. And he's been around years. Uh, so knight does take. So now. Now I do prefer taking here. It theoretically defends us, but we're going to get kicked out there. Hmm. We do this. Knight will drop back here. Or Rook will drop back there. It's not great. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not wonderful stuff. Uh, it does give us a tempo though. This is still going to resolve out the same. We're still going to have time to move this or win the rook. Unless it's completely miscalculated. So we'll end up a pawn down with some more havoc caused for the price, the low, low price of a 
pretty botched defensive system here for black we aren't yet in a place to throw stones this is very much a precarious glass house but overall we're we're carving up a bit of a bit of territory hmm. Again, I do like this bishop on this diagonal. I think we can we can keep that maybe. Looking at things like this, but now it's all very solidly defended. Uh, I think we'll need to drop back. This is really, I was thinking about dropping back one, but then pawn push again, we just lose time. If they want to take with this knight here, that's fine because we'll open up here, we'll open up the rook, um, which is great. I'm also thinking of castle on this side just to slam the rook in here, which would be nice. So it's a small bit cutting off the nose despite the face. We're not happy with this setup. It's pretty chaotic. Oh, we'll take that all day, I think. Yeah, we'll take that absolutely all day. Um, yeah, I think so. So, what I see here, okay, now it's time to cast along because they have that check, which I don't want to do. They can castle themselves now. They do they'll leave that exposed there's a few things we can have a look at here might just grab this pawn quick and easy don't see too much wrong with that this one over here is not looking too healthy himself a menacing knight in there if they do decide to take back which they should we've got we, we, we can work with this we can work with this i don't know what the machine would be saying at this stage probably screaming at all the mistakes but the machine isn't that cool um any other any other sort of tactics we can see. I mean, they could bring one of these over. I don't think we have enough. I'm just trying to justify whether we have enough to trade queens and just sort of work away with this extra pawn now. Because... I think we might i think we might just with a, we're a tiny bit more solid if we can land this rook in here if we get time to land that rook in there it might have been time to do it just a moment ago but i was worried about getting my queen home uh landing that rook in there and then it'll, it's like if we can play that we need to 
Okay, and then I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get this guy involved, maybe on the D file. Yeah, there's all sorts, all sorts of ramifications. Let's see what they do. That's, obviously you wanna think on your opponent's time, but I think they just have a couple of different options here. If they take, we take back and I mean, if they come across with either rook, come across with this rook, we'll take here. If they took here, we'll just take the bishop. So, pretty, pretty happy with this. Uh, if they move the queen anywhere, there's no good, there's no good, there's no good, there's fine. Uh, that actually probably wouldn't be the worst. Uh, there's no good. Mm, there's he'll survive. Uh, there's no good. So I'm not at an array of great queen moves. So I have a feeling we might get time to play this. Would be great. Uh, if they come across here, I think I'll just take. Hmm, should I? Probably should. Yeah, if they double up here, we'll go take, they'll take back. Maybe just push the pawn one so that the knight does cover it. Yeah, let's do it. The queens are off the board. This is now theoretically an end game, I think. Uh, this is a weakness, this is a weakness. Let's push that one. Now they have time to play king, king b8, which, oh, they do not. Uh, I mean, we don't need to double defend this. Let me just pick up another pawn. Hmm. Okay, we're two pawns up. We can start to think about trading down. One way I see of doing that is this rook across here. Rook in here, king will have to advance. Slam in there, it's one rook down. That's grand, it's not not world beating. Maybe we'll just drop the rook back. Although I don't know what that rook is doing on the F file that's any better than doubling up with his pal over here. Uh, yeah, we'll trade off. We will trade off absolute mod. Gotta watch our back rank, of course. King is not safe yet. A bit of luft wouldn't go amiss onto the H file, nonetheless. But there's there's no way to avoid this trade that cleanly. I'm gonna push here, there. If they push here, we'll just take, just do that first. I think, I think we could be all right. Two pawns up, plenty of time. Time for it all to go wrong, says you, but again, I've thrown away a lot of games recently from a strong attack um, and maybe a slight advantage, just through a botched attack. So this time, I am going to go the uh, less chaotic route and just try to minimize the amount of pieces on the board with a slight advantage 
in our favor. Um, okay, so that that strikes that that's annoying, but it's not too bad. So we'll trade off here. And then we'll just do something like this. We might push here, in which case we'll do this. Oh, they do that straight away. That's grand with me. So now, I think we sort of need to push, don't we? No, is the answer. Uh, okay, I think. Let's see how this one goes. I'm gonna stop that guy in his tracks here. I'm gonna get up and support him if I can. King's gotta come out too. Can maybe pick up these guys. Probably should do this sooner rather than later two connected pass pawns if this guy bites too early we could push king's path up the board is there uh, again if they take here that'll help us undouble our pawns uh, let's do this now If he tries to chomp down here and force the trade, he needs to do this first. Actually, he they just shouldn't do that. Uh, so we'll go boing, 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 boing. This is where you really want to use your two pawn advantage. Even if we have to give up one of these pawns maybe that pawn in particular to do it um then that's and we we gain a lot of time with that so like here something like this and then look here should hold everything together there's no way to and then to attack this piece king could come in here and then here and it's a whole thing but uh we'll just start maltering up the board here you got this i'm in a zugzwangy sort of position for them i don't know what move is gonna benefit them at all sorry king can't come here the rook is there the whole point uh right is now going to be crunch time. Let's see what they do with this. I don't know if there's a great response. Take will take, and Rook is still pretty locked in. And then we can push this. King is locked out of heaven. I think if we pick up one more pawn or just un unseat them a little bit more this two pass pawns very difficult to stop uh that's gonna be even harder yep and that's a resignation Oof. okay so the wiener patrol have got another arrest under their books we have Taking the sting out of any counterattack after a pretty decent middle game. Uh, let's have a look at the analysis, see if there was anything we should have done a little bit better. Uh, report, how many deal? We had four mistakes, one missed win, but a 91 accuracy. Uh, they didn't have a great game. They did not have a great game. Let's go to key moments, see if anything throws up there. Uh, okay, so this is the perk defense. Um, I, this is my kind of first time actively facing it, but it uh, 
didn't offer much. It gave us a, it gave us a bit of space. Again, Jimmy and out this bishop. A lot of times when people play Fianchetto openings, um, Jimmy and out the bishop just helps to to really uh, narrow things down. Queen h6 is the only good move there. I think that's pretty apparent. Yada yada yada. Jumble around the pieces. A missed win here. Okay, let's see. There was a missed win here. Um. What I wonder was that? Is a hint there. There's a queen move. Just that maybe. Okay, free pawn. We would have extended our advantage a little bit earlier. Uh, so this was a mistake. The move later is the mistake because of castling. Uh, maybe then this was best. It was best. Okay, so we played that a little bit late, but in the end we kept it nice and boring. We try. So they said not to push this just yet. Maybe it was just this then. Okay. Bring our rook in early doors. I think we ended up making a move similar to that, but it's okay. Played there. Uh, another mistake. So again, this was with a view to trading off uh, a mistake there. Can you find a better move? You tell me, computer. You tell me. All right. Give a little hint there. We didn't find it in the game. A hint. It was just the move. Uh, okay, so the move will just bring the rook back into a lovely open little, uh, what do you call that? Rank in the middle of the board. Next came on, but there was one more, another mistake where we let them, we opened the door slightly ajar and it was in the end game. Uh, so rather than playing that, we need to push maybe. Nope. Uh, maybe here. Okay. Yeah, we thought we delayed this a little bit. Not bad, not bad at all. Versus the perk, we're up to fifteen fifty one. Choo choo. We're on the way to the sixteen hundreds. We're in the latter half. We're we're a fifteen hundred player now. I'm not just clinging on by my fingernails. Um, stick around. We'll be sticking up a few more uh videos like this as we try to get our way into the. 1500s let me know what kind of content you want to see and if you did have a good time and made it through all of this feel free to drop a quick like comment what you thought or even subscribe if you're feeling generous um thanks very much for watching my name is andy and i'm wishing you a lovely peaceful day thanks very much sarah